Sometimes less is more. And in the case of my training over the last few years, that has definitely been the case. And in this video, I want to explain the benefits I've seen from minimalist training and why you could possibly benefit yourself. So why do I do minimalist training? Well, first a little bit of background about me. After finishing playing tennis semi-professionally, I went into coaching and my training would be bodybuilding for six months, not doing anything for six months. And I did that for multiple years until I came across Ido Portel. Now Ido is a movement coach. He was Conor McGregor's movement coach and he is well renowned and he's an incredible mover and he has some phenomenal ideas. And I worked under his method and that involved training two and a half, three hours a day usually in one full gym session. And I did that for a few years, but I kept coming into a problem and that was I kept getting injured. And after one big injury, uh, another elbow injury, I think my third elbow injury in the space of four years, I had a few months off and then my first son was born. Now after the first, his first few months of life, I wanted to get back into training. And I realized immediately, I wasn't gonna be able to do three hour training sessions again. I also realized I didn't want to do the movement thing again. I didn't want to be doing handstand training. I didn't want to be training for a one arm chin up anymore or a handstand push up or a front lever. I just wanted some general strength, generally to look good and to feel good in my body again. So I went into the one hour sessions. I stuck to the eight to 12 repetitions, three sets of every exercise and so on. And whilst I made progress, I ran into a problem and that was fatigue. You see, I wasn't sleeping very well, having a newborn baby. I didn't get much time to rest and recover. My job's very physical being a tennis coach. So I struggled. I would have a training session and I would just tank for the rest of the day and the day after. So I started scaling it back and looking into it until eventually I came across the minimalist training. And I realized I'll give this a shot. And so I started lowering the amount of exercise I was doing. And I went to two sets on every exercise. And then it worked wonders. Honestly, I started seeing much better gains. I wasn't as fatigued, I was recovering better, and I was getting stronger, and I felt like I was getting bigger and looking better as well. So you see my equipment here, super basic, super minimalist. I bought this squat rack with a pull-up bar for around about 400 euros. I've got some old free weights, dumbbells, two kilograms, three kilograms, four kilograms, and I've got one adjustable dumbbell that goes up to something like 15 kilograms. Plastic band as well for some extra shoulder work. Mm, that's pretty much it. Super basic, super minimalist. So how do I do it? I still train four days a week. Now, some people will say that's not that minimalist. It's usually around three days a week, but I was training four days a week was working for me, two push days, two pull days. I do a push day on a Monday and a Wednesday and a pull day on a Tuesday and on a Friday. I do around about five or six exercises for each day and two sets on every exercise. Now, I'm also getting a bit older. I'm 34, I've got two kids now, and I wanna be able to train and look good and feel good for as long as I possibly can. And so I've sort of taken a minimalist with a longevity approach. I, tr I want to feel good. I want to be healthy. I don't want to come across any more injuries that I was coming across back in the past. I don't want my elbows to flare up again. I don't want my shoulders to hurt, so on. So the way I do it is I stick to the basics, okay? Push-ups, dips, incline push-ups, some shoulder work, okay? Rows, chin-ups, pull-ups face pulls, bicep curls, you know, rear delt work for the shoulders and so on. Real basic work, body weight squats, and I go high rep, 
we're talking 15 plus repetitions. And the reason for that is I want a lot of blood flow. I want blood flow to the muscles and I want blood flow to the joints and the connective tissue so I can stay as healthy and minimize the risk of injury as possible. I don't go heavy, I don't go try and test myself, I don't ego lift anymore. It's mostly just body weight basics, high repetitions. And I get it done at home. The way I like to do it is when I wake up in the mornings, I like to do one round of all the exercises. So one set of every exercise. And then if I can, I'll do the second round later on in the afternoon. So that's what I'll do some days. Some days I'll just get it all done in one big go, in one big session. 40 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, two sets every, two sets every exercise and that's it and I'm done. Other days when I'm really busy, uh, maybe I'm a little bit more fatigued or I know I've got things, other things to do that take precedent on the day. I'll just split up and do a set here, a set there, set here and there, and when I'm set 15 minutes later and a set 20 minutes later and a set one hour later and so forth and spread it out as long as I can until I go to work, which being a tennis coach, I start in the afternoon. So keeping the minimalist mindset, I wanted to train at home for multiple reasons. It's accessible, it's easy, I can get, do all my exercises throughout the day if needs be. I don't have to commute to the gym, it saves time. But the biggest reason is I want to see the boys grow up seeing me train so I can set a great example for them and hopefully they follow in my footsteps. And as you can see, they often like to join me in my sessions. And this is how most of my sessions are. I would love to have filmed this video and had the whole place looking neat and tidy and shoot it with the perfect angles and the lighting. I, I just don't get that possibility with having two kids on the edge of three anymore. And I wanted to have, and I wanted to portray a realistic scenario and how, how I train from day to day. So my young ones often join me, they're in the way, their toys are in the way, but you just get it done and it's not that much time. Like I said, 30 to 40 minutes per day. So like I said, the results that I've seen, I've been very happy with. I'm not trying to reach any high levels here. I'm not trying to break any records. I'm not trying to wow anyone. I'm not trying to set stand ridiculous standards. Those days are long gone. I'm no longer an athlete. I'm no longer in the aesthetic mindset and look as possible good as I possibly can and be as strong as I can and no longer in trying to come up with circus tricks and handstands and backflips and one arm chin ups. Those days are gone. I just want to be able to be functional, feel good in my body, move well, be generally strong, have a decent physique that I'm happy with, that I'm comfortable with, I'm confident with and be healthy and be able to do this for as long as I possibly can. And this minimalist style of training, along with a sort of longevity mindset with the high repetitions and the body weight basics, it's been absolutely fantastic for me. And you can see some here, some of the clips here. Look, I'm not gonna be wowing anyone here with these pictures, but I've seen the progress. This first picture here is me uh, just after my first son was born. And this is me uh, just a couple of years later and I've made some progress with these, with these techniques that I'm happy with. I could be better, I know that. I could be more dialed in with my diet. I could train a little bit harder, maybe more often. I miss a few days here and there when it all gets too much, but listen, if this works for me. I feel very comfortable like this and I don't feel so stressed out and so, so consumed by training and, and how much training I'm doing and how much I'm eating and so on. It's a minimalist approach um, with results that have worked for me and I will continue to train in this way. And I think if you're, especially if you're getting older in life and got other responsibilities and you've got a family and so on, you want to try and do uh, as little as possible and get as much results out of that as you possibly can. So I hope this video helps. I hope it inspires some people as well. And yeah, if you want any advice, or any questions for me, get in contact. All right, my email's in, in the description. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video.